I need more guys on lumber now. I have, uh, no, I do not have double bit axe, which is quite useful. It basically makes you uh, chop wood faster, which is always useful, of course. So let's let's get that when we can and get in our house. So yeah, basically, um, you can buy different things at the market, and you can obviously sell stuff. Usually, you're buying or selling in. Well, actually, always you are um, buying and selling a hundred of a resource. So I could like sell some stone for 91 gold in this case. Let's just get you on here. So yeah, you can do stuff like that. You can also research cartography, which makes me see um, my allies' line of sight. Now, dip, dip, uh, diplomacy here. Um, you can basically change your stance, but obviously I want to keep them as allies. And you can pay tribute, which uh, basically means sending them stuff, though it takes a certain uh, amount out of uh, it when you tribute. So you can actually research stuff so, so you can get uh, that tribute fee to be less. I also want wheelbarrow. Alright, there was a couple sheep, but I don't really see the point of taking them out. Uh, I think they actually get attacked fairly quickly, and also notice that monks move extremely slowly, and you're going to have to deal with that, basically. So we are going to get our ally in line of sight here, and also get some fletching. Alright, I think that's enough, actually, so let's get another. I, I, do, I really don't need sheep. I, I really don't. <laughs> uh, that reduces tribute fees, which is interesting. And I just get some knights out when I get to Castle Age and just wreck them. Uh, so there is some gold over here. I may send some over to go get that. Is there any stone? Actually, I've got some boars. Let's go check if we have some stone somewhere. Alright, let's make a few extras and we can get even more farms, and yes, you need a lot of farms when you're playing. So here is the yellow player. Uh, right now they don't have anything attacking them, so let's go make a break for it, basically. Uh, I, I, I am producing them. Okay, I sent her on wood. Okay. Uh, yeah. You've reached your allies' town. Go inside and see how his city's doing. Your allies' gate will open automatically for you. Villagers and soldiers normally appear outside of the building that created. I have been setting gather points this entire time. Once they're created by using gather points. Welcome. If you've come for the relic, you can find it on the hill to the northeast of our town. To set a gather point for infantry, All right. in the barracks, click set gather point. Then click where on the map mm. to watch her infantry to gather. Oops. Alright, farms are running out, so let's uh let's get automatic really reseeding them. Basically what you use wood for the pretty much a lot in the end game is pretty much reseeding farms. That sound you will recognize it <laughs> a lot. I think I have enough now. Uh, so we will get one more on this. I am planning to go to the Castle Age because I have to get this one anyway. Right, uh, let's actually let the monk get it. All right. You can use the technology tree to see what technologies and upgrades you can research. Click the technology tree button in the upper right corner of the screen. Yeah. To Unfortunately, see it's kind of still broken a little bit. <laughs> All right. Why do I have these sheep here? I don't know why I have these sheep, honestly. <laughs> Alright. So we are coming back with uh, the second relic, and of course the English have the third. So let's advance to the Castle Age. Uh, is there actually any stone around this area? There might be some north of it or something. So what I used to do on this this map was just, uh, just wait on it for ages, so I could just completely destroy the enemy because I guess that was fun to be before I don't know there is some stone here um, what I'm gonna do is bring these two guys off the farms and make a mining camp uh, so these farms are all uh, 
not occupied vacant. <laughs> Alright, so we you start off with three monks, so you don't have to go and make some, but monks do cost. I can't actually make anything now because I'm not in the castle age. They do actually cost a um, hundred gold each, so they are quite expensive, so you don't want to lose them. And they're relatively weak, unfortunately, but they can convert enemy units, so that's always a bonus. You now have two relics, Garrison. Bring back one more and you'll be victorious. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to get some stone going. Because I plan to build a castle. So I believe the English do attack after this. Uh, which is a little annoying. The English are attacking our town. Can you attribute any spare food or gold to us? Alright. Nice for the resources. If you have any spare soldiers, come to I didn't give you anything. The English out. Man, this game. So I can give him like a hundred food, but I lose some more. Yeah, so I'll just give him 200 food or whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Apparently he thought I gave it to him before I gave it to him, so whatever. Alright, so we will get some knights on the scene. Pretty much what I do every time, honestly. Uh, that does mean I'm running out of gold, though. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring two guys, or two girls in this case, uh, over to the gold over here. And I'm gonna make a couple extra on there. All right, so they are just attacking like a house, so I'll, I'll leave them for now. It's not like I need to go over there rushing over with archers, because that probably would be a bad idea actually. I do not have enough gold. All right, kind of annoying. That there's no gold near your bit. Actually, we will check that. See if there is anything down here. I could also get long swordsmen. Which are, of course, stronger than men at arms. So, the Castle Age is kind of where the majority of the fighting will probably be going on. It usually is, at least. So, yeah. Is there anything back here? Probably not. Some more sheep. I, I really don't need you, sheep. Alright. Let's get some more on gold. And, oh, I re some boars. Boars, eh, you know, you do get 350 food. Alright, crossbowmen. Now let's get this. Luckily, you don't need too much gold for the upgrades, uh, especially the long swordsman upgrades. Alright, um, what I will do is I will get all these guys to go over and attack. Help, help our guy out. Alright. thought my uh, villager was spazzing out there, but he's okay. Alright, so he actually did give me some resources, which is nice. And my knights are already there. And sort of dying, so let's, let's get an upgrade there. And let us get some more of these. I have a lot of wood now. <laughs> Probably more than I need, honestly. Alright. So, that was that went pretty well, I would say. But, uh, I believe they do have some knights, so let's get some pipemen out as well. Uh, for these two guys, we have enough for a castle, so we're just going to go down. Yeah, I, I know I know you don't really need a strategy for this map, but uh, whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> it's very simple, but uh, I'm gonna drag it out as much as possible anyway. So yeah. Crossbowmen are okay. Uh, I probably underestimate them. They're probably actually a better unit than I make them out to be. Uh, so let's let's have a look. Uh, their their base should be down at the bottom here. Of course, I could not see it on the map because I haven't explored it yet. Uh, but there should be that's one way in. Uh, there should be another way in on this side. Uh, so I should be able to make a castle right here. Can I actually make it on the other side? Or is there probably a wall there? I would imagine there would be. Yes, but I doubt I can actually uh, get anything in there. I could try that. 
I could actually try this, and we're gonna go stand ground here. All right, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we do have some knights. get some pipemen out. Pipemen are really quite cheap to make, honestly, so yeah, of course there is that. Uh, right, our, we're getting attacked by these guys. Fantastic. They, they do have a sizable army, to be honest. That is annoying me. <laughs> Alright, how's that castle going? Right, may, maybe I can trick the AI. But I've done it quite easily there, actually. And we can get this, and our pikemen can get up. Pikemen are cheap, and they they have a bonus against cavalry, so they're always quite nice, actually. Uh, they may not seem like much, because by themselves they're not that strong, but, you know, they can be pretty decent. And here is my castle slowly getting up. Very slowly. Uh, I should also bring my monks across, because they're slow as fuck. And I could also make a siege workshop to take care of this... Uh, this uh, this wall here. So let's build that there. And we will also have our knights. Well, you know the gate is going down pretty fast, actually. I could get elite skirmishers, but me. I don't think you can. Well, apparently you can go to the Imperial Age, but I don't know if it will actually let you do it. All right. And of course, you can get the Celts uh, unique unit after this. I'm going to put my villagers in here. The Wood Raider, which are basically fast infantry units. They're quite nice, actually. And another thing that happens is um, uh, when you build a castle, it gives you... I can't remember how much population it gives you, but it does give you like quite a decent amount of population. It might be 20. Can I honestly not get out? I think I can garrison on garrison. Yeah, alright. Though I don't want the villagers going out. So yeah, so these guys are wood raiders. They're okay, but... Actually, they're probably better than the long swordsmen I have right now. Or maybe just a... Okay, they're slightly... They have more HP, but less attack. It's kind of strange, actually. Anyway, so let's, let's get our guys in here and just wreaking havoc, basically. Get our cavalry in there as well. Looking for him, sound. That sound will haunt you if you play this game, just like that sound. Alright, that was actually really easy. Uh, I didn't even need the battering rams. So yeah, I didn't really need to build a castle, but we should get to see what it looks like for the Celts. Yes, there's some, there's some different graphics for some of the castles, but generally they're pretty similar. Let's go attack them, because why not? All you really need to do is get a relic, but it's pretty much at the back of their town, so you're pretty much going to have to kill everyone anyway. Uh, so you might as well raise stuff to the ground, right? Pillage and stuff like that. Sounds good. Uh, an interesting one <laughs> I'm going to get out here, just because I can. I believe the relic is somewhere up here. There it is. So we'll, we'll, just, uh, we'll just go and destroy stuff while we're here. Why not? May as well. And also get these guys out. Now these guys are basically... <laughs> they basically just explode. They're called petards. And uh, they basically just take out buildings, mostly. They will explode and basically kill most things... And I've got to do the slow walk back. Most things uh, will, will die off them. Alright, so... So I'm going to get three of them piled up and then... Uh, go and try and take out that town centre. Uh, so what I will do is I will get my pikemen to kind of act as a decoy, because generally you want to do that is kind of throw someone in front of them so they won't be picked off, because they'll die straight away otherwise. Uh, now no stands, um, no stand ground stance or no attack stance is uh, pretty good for making sure your unit units don't move. So we're going to have them go. We don't want the ram to come along because that will uh, that will ruin their speed. They move quite slow, but uh, it's not terrible. Now ram is they have a lot of pierce armor, 180 to be exact. So you're pretty much going to have to take them out melee. That's generally what people do with them. So 
You can see that the petards can do a lot of damage. I believe four of them can take out a town center pretty much by themselves. Um, obviously you don't actually need to take out this town center, but... And it looks like we're going to win before it gets taken out anyway, so... And I think it just cut out there, but whatever. <laughs> just whatever. With the three relics now locked away safely in Scottish churches, men murmur that we are blessed by the heavens. Our army now stands a chance as we prepare for the final clash with the English. Scotland now has archers, and knights of our own with which to meet Longshanks. We march south to Falkirk, where we will rendezvous with the army of William Wallace and plan our combined attack upon the English castle. And that will be the last in this uh, campaign. Yes, it's relatively short, but you know, it is just a learning campaign slash tutorial campaign. Uh, this one's going to be the longest, probably, as I recall. Uh, so I'm going to leave that to next time. I don't think I really have enough time left, so I'll see you guys.